The apparitions of Our Lady uh, Garabandal and the Second Vatican Council um, are two things that are really tied together. That's because you can't help but notice that the dates of Vatican II and the dates of Garabandal are not that far apart. In fact, obviously Garabandal started before the council, but while the council was going on, the events at Garabandal were kind of reaching their height. What's the connection between the two? Well, there really is a connection because Our Lady at Garabandal talks about the Second Vatican Council. And what's really interesting is it seems that Our Lady at Garabandal thinks that the council is going to be pretty awesome. And from our point of view today, the council doesn't seem so great. Let's have a look at some of the things Our Lady uh, said to Conchita. But in fact, again, we don't know what Our Lady said. And again, it's to Conchita about the council. We only know what Conchita said because uh, people were writing down what they could hear her saying and they were recording what she was saying um, with a microphone. So there are two sections of recordings about Our Lady talking about the council. The first one, um, the first one is when, um, when Conchita is heard to say the council is going to be the biggest of all. It will be a success. How good. Oh, they will get to know you better and you will be happier. And then she kind of adds <laughs> in, in, in a strange way, she adds, how is it they paint you so ugly? seeing that you're so beautiful. So that's the first recording that we have of Our Lady and Conchita discussing the Vatican Council. This is before it's happened. And the council, even in rural Spain, they've heard that this council are coming. And so perhaps naturally Conchita talks to Our Lady about this about their sing. I'm sure they spoke about it more than, than this one occasion before it before it began. But uh, this is this is exactly what we have. So we don't know what Our Lady said, but presumably she says something like um, when Conchita says it's going to be a success. The next thing Conchita says is how good. So presumably Our Lady has said yes to that and not no, because you wouldn't say how good, um, you know. And again, it's going to be the greatest of all. Does she say no to that? Because then Conchita follows up by saying it will be a success. Or maybe maybe, maybe it's possible that she says no. Um, and then Conchita is trying to qualify and trying to find out, oh, it's not going to be the greatest of all. Will, will it still be a success? And then when Our Lady says yes, then Conchita is able to kind of breathe a sigh of relief and say, oh, how good. And then Our Lady clearly tells her something because Conchita is able to reach a a synthesis of what Our Lady is, has told her. And the synthesis is, oh, people are going to know you better and you're going to be happy because of that. Um, so in the reality of the Vatican Council, um, was it a success? Looking back on it, it's hard to call the Second Vatican Council a success. Um, it depends... It depends what um, what measurement you're you're going to use to measure success. But in terms of um, in terms of the European context and the context of Spain, the council what has followed the council has been a decline in vocations. It's been closure of parishes. It's been loss rapid uh, loss of faith and the secularization of society. Um, perhaps you could argue that the in other parts of the world, in parts of Asia and Africa, actually the church has grown loads following the council. Um, but is it because of the council or is it in spite of the council? Anyway, what's what's interesting there is, is clearly Our Lady is saying it's going to be a success. So it's, that's interesting. Um, and also that it's, go, it's going to speak... Um, well of Our Lady or it's going to make her better known. I think an argument can be made that the council does make Our Lady better known. Although she didn't get a document and originally Our Lady was going to receive her own document at the Vatican Council, 
The section in Lumen Gentium about Our Lady is beautiful. It, it's really beautiful, and apparently, apparently, it, it's um, it was considered a dark day among the the Freemasons and the Modernists when the section on Our Lady uh, was included in Lumen Gentium. It was considered like a really dark day that that this really deep Marian uh, devotion manages to creep into the documents. We've got a, a clear statement of Our Lady as co-redemptrix in the Vatican II documents, and it acknowledges that she can be called uh, Mediatrix. Um, and actually, I've even spoken with uh, one of the SSPX superiors. Uh, we we looked together at the text of Lumen Gentium, and he were, even he was had to admit that this section in Lumen Gentium has quite a beautiful a beautiful. Um, description of Our Lady's role in the life of the church. So in a way, it's true that, that the council uh, document would make Our Lady better known. But unfortunately, in, unfortunately, in the decades that followed the council, Our Lady was less known because many people removed statues from her. Many people uh, stopped praying the rosary and they, they were told not to pray the rosary. Um, but you know, maybe that was too short term. Short term, and maybe now, uh, now we're sixty years after the council. Maybe now, Our Lady is beginning to be better known again. But is it because of the council, or is it um, in spite of the council? So the second time that Our Lady speaks um, to Conchita about Garavandal is even more interesting. Um, five weeks after the council has opened. There's another recorded. Um, there's another recorded message discussion of Conchita and Our Lady about the council. Um, Our Lady, Our Conchita responds by saying, "Oh, good, that with the council and the miracle, the world will be converted, and then the world will be forgiven. Oh, that is good. What? And I can say." That with the council and the miracle there will be conversion. I will say all this after the council, and what? So I want the council to end now. I'll not say anything more. N more nothing. Okay. When the council is over, I won't say a word. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> so that's what we're told. Uh, another e excerpt of of one of these conversations between. Our Lady and Conchita. It's the only other one about the council that, that we have at the moment. But the key line that, um, that strikes me from this, towards the end it gets a bit confusing, but Our Lady seems to say that with the council and the miracle, the world will be converted and then the world will be forgiven. So... I mean, I know, don't know how we can square that with with history, because sure, that if there is a great miracle um, at Garabandal and a permanent sign, that's going to convert a lot of people. But in what way has that got anything to do with the Second Vatican Council? It's hard to say. And again, this is another challenge, I think, for the veracity of Garabandal, or not necessarily the veracity of Garabandal, but of some of the messages that Conchita has given us purported to be from Our Lady. It could be, it could be that there's such an enthusiasm for the Vatican Council um, at this point in history. There's such enthusiasm, everyone's wild that this is going to be such a great thing for the church, that maybe Conchita is not hearing Our Lady correctly. Maybe she's somehow putting words into Our Lady's mouth. Maybe Maybe Our Lady is kind of doing a mental um, equivocation and she's saying, yes, yes, with the count, with, with a council and the miracle, the world will be converted. But maybe it wasn't the second Vatican council. Maybe it's another council. Um, but, you know, this second excerpt, uh, five weeks after the opening of the council, telling us that with the council and the miracle, the world will be converted. And there's even a suggestion in the latter half that kind of the miracle is going to be pretty proximate to the council. And in fact, 
we're told in um, She Went in Haste to the Mountain, it says in one of the footnotes that Marie Lowley's mum seemed to think that the miracle would be during the council. Um, it didn't happen. And, and the, the footnote kind of says, well, we don't know where, where she got that from, but, you know, she was telling people it. So, so it's really interesting. Um, and finally, later on, Conchita... Um, Conchita doesn't say that the council's going to have any role in converting people. Later interviews of Conchita talk about the miracle converting a lot of people. Somehow the council uh, disappears from the um, from the description of one of the things that is going to convert um, convert the world. It's really interesting to try and think about the relationship between Garabandal and the Second Vatican Council. A lot of people that go to Garabandal are traditional Catholics. And they're Catholics who have appreciated that the Second Vatican Council wasn't great. And perhaps it wasn't just the implementation of Vatican II, but some of the documents and some of the spirit in which the Vatican II was conducted. Um, so it really... It, it becomes harder to square the truth of Garabandal and the goodness and the greatness and the awesomeness of Vatican II. Um, I really love um, Gar Garabandal and I do believe Our Lady appeared there. And I'm still trying to work out how these sayings about Vatican II um, are compatible with the idea of Our Lady genuinely appearing at Garabandal. I think probably I would side with the idea that Conchita's making a mistake here and that she doesn't uh, understand Our Lady correctly and is projecting her own thoughts onto Our Lady at this moment. Another view is that some people say that Our Lady said this at a moment when Vatican II seemed like it was going in the right direction. But um, after the Vatican II was hijacked, um, what Our Lady said was no longer true. It's possible because a lot of what uh, we're told that a lot of what reveals to us in prophecy is conditional. So maybe things would have gone well at Vatican II, but then for some other reason they didn't. And so what Our Lady said uh, is no longer apl applicable to the Vatican Council. Or maybe it's about another council that is yet to occur and Our Lady was speaking about a later council and uh, Conchita just in the enthusiasm for the current Second Vatican Council presumes everything that Our Lady is saying is, is about that council. May God bless you, may our Blessed Mother intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.